Now, meteorologist Kyle Gravelin with your precision forecast. A flood watch goes into effect later on this afternoon in the Sawtooths. Not because there's rain and snow on the way, but because there's going to be a lot of sunshine and warm air surging in from the south. So snow melt, what we're watching out for in the higher elevations for today and tomorrow. We're going to cool off a bit heading into next week. So eventually this uh, watch will expire or just be canceled by the National Weather Service. We're also going to see melting in other areas of the mountains, but no advisories out for the West Central or Boise Mountains, even though it will be very mild around here, especially today and tomorrow. Not exactly mild right now, though. Low 30s, Boise Mountain home 27, Twin only 3, and Stanley 12 around McCall. But when you have clear skies and calm winds, it does get rather chilly outside. These are actually the wind chill numbers. There is a light breeze is moving through the valley, so it feels like the 20s around here. 28 is the current temperature, though, for twin 27 Salt Lake. But there are pockets of warmer air around, and really the anomalous one is this one in Montana. 50 now in Great Falls, 43 in Billings, but Missoula's only at 27. Seattle's at 40, Reno only 26, and there's that warmer air way off to our south around Vegas and out by San Francisco. High pressure's in control, so cold mornings, but nice, sunny, warm, and comfortable afternoons. That's the story for today and tomorrow. I think by tomorrow we'll start to see some more of these clouds move through from time to time, but we will be dry around here. So a fantastic start to our weekend. Unfortunately, the pattern makes a rather big change toward the end of the weekend. We'll start to bring in some moisture and air from the Pacific, which will mean a lot of clouds, chances for showers thrown in there. Not a huge cool down, though. I don't really see any 30 or 40 degree high temperatures around the valley heading into next week. There will be a slight cool down for Monday and Tuesday as things will be dreary around here and a bit breezy at times as well. Overall, though, it's still a mild forecast, just a lot of chances for rain as we head into next week. So that ridge of high pressure in place for right now. Behind this, though, is where all the little disturbances lie, and we'll have to keep an eye out for showers, especially Monday and Tuesday, I think, for the heavier showers. Other than that, we're talking sprinkles and flurries, depending on your elevation in the Gem State. Low to mid-60s across the Treasure Valley today. Light breeze out of the southeast. Very comfortable weather. Almost the same exact forecast for tomorrow. Just a few extra clouds added in. 57 Garden Valley, 64 in Riggins, 45 today around McCall. Sawtooths, look at these temperatures, 51 at Stanley, 47 Sun Valley Ketchum. A little cooler around Fairfield. Light breeze today in the Camas Prairie. It's going to keep things cold around there. The Magic Valley looks good, mid to upper 50s, or if you're in Twin Falls, lower 60s with a light breeze out of the east. Almost the same exact forecast on Saturday, but We'll call it partly sunny instead of completely sunny like it will be today. Don't forget to put the clocks ahead an hour Saturday night. Slight chance of a shower Tuesday or excuse me on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday are a better chance for rain. Low 50s, a little blustery at times, so somewhat dreary there. But we're back up to 63 by Thursday. Wow. And so looking even longer run in the in the future, is winter done? I mean, are we going to be seeing I any think more for the Treasure things? Valley as far as snowfall things like that, we're pretty much done. Not that we can't see snow in March or even April, but just really hasn't been that kind of winter. Yeah, it sure hasn't. And of course, it just reminds us that meteorologically, it already is spring, right? That's this true. Yeah, March, March, March so April, May. Yeah. Yeah, making a lot of sense this year, at least. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Kyle. Your time is 6.50.